Win right there. Great job. Great job. Tomorrow's off. Then we get on the road. Ready to win. Ready to win. The interim tag is gone. Head coach first win. Congratulations. I was excited for him. Um, I know the work that he puts in every day. I know how much he cares about the development of uh, each player and his team as a whole. And um, looking forward to playing for him. You know, all the guys have um, responded to um, how he wants us to play. And, um, you know, so I'm looking forward to, you know, how we progress after this. All right, nice moment there with him and KD. Uh, Stephen A., you were at Barclays last night. Do you think this is the right move to hire Vaughn? Well, let me say this. I'm going to qualify by saying I don't think it's the wrong move. I'm okay. very, very happy for Jacques Vaughn. He deserves this opportunity. He's a good brother. He's smart. He knows basketball. More importantly, he's put in the time, the work, the energy, not just as a player but as a coach paying his dues throughout the years. And it's really, really good to see him have this opportunity, okay? He's 7-3. and three. I think 7-3 and three or 8-3 and three in, in, in 10 or 11 games as a head coach. Um, because he coached some games before the bubble and then into the bubble. So I give him a lot of credit where credit is due. But, Wendy, I'm still of the mindset I wouldn't call this the right move. I'm just happy for Jacques Vaughn, and I'm hopeful and prayerful that it works out for him because I'm rooting for him. Ime Udoka, to me, should have been the head coach for the Brooklyn Nets. Whatever we're hoping Jacques Vaughn achieves, we know that Ime Udoka achieved, can achieve it because he already has. In, fir in his first year in Boston, he achieved what Brad Stevens could not achieve in eight years as head coach of the Boston Celtics, and that was taking them to the NBA Finals. We know how great of a coach Ime Udoka is because he has already proven that. I understand this notion about because of all the drama that has been taking place in Brooklyn and because of the self-inflicted drama that Ime Udoka um, is enduring as, as we speak that it just seemed to be too much controversy. That's what Mike Wilbon re religiously pointed out, and I totally get that. I'm saying to you, Wendy, if I was the ownership group for the Brooklyn Nets, I would have hired Ime Udoka anyway because you don't see coaches like him come around every day. He's a foundational kind of coach to build your franchise around in terms of his coaching ability, and, and it is clear that of all the things that Kyrie has done, since he has been in Brooklyn every single year, finding a reason to get time off, Kyrie Irving cost Ime Udoka this head coaching job in Brooklyn. If it were not for the latest shenanigans involving Kyrie Irving, Ime Udoka would be the head coach of the Brooklyn Nets today. And so I look at it from that perspective. That's sad. That's unfortunate that it happened. But I am rooting for Jacques Vaughn, and I don't blame the coaches for having faith in him because he is a stabilizing presence and force. He has been there. They're very familiar with him. They respect him. They trust him. And more importantly, they're going to play hard for him because they want to give him a chance to succeed. He deserves this opportunity. I'm throwing no shade on him whatsoever. It's just a damn shame that a great coach like Ime Udoka can't get this opportunity, even despite his self-inflicted wounds, he doesn't get this job in Brooklyn because of the latest stuff involving Kyrie Irving. It was just too much for Brooklyn to deal with. Stephen A., I think you, the way you're looking at it is probably the way the Nets front office looked at it, which is we've got almost a $300 million team here when you look at the, the luxury taxes that they're paying. We've got Kyrie for this year. We've got Kevin Durant, who's no trade or trade demand has already is still there. He could bring it back. How do we get a guy? And oh, my gosh, there's a guy actually who fits the bill available. And that's why they started going down the path. But from the conversations that I've had, what it looks to me is that like Ime Udoka has developed what in the NCAA they call a show cause penalty. That's what happens when a coach gets in trouble with the NCAA and they slap him with, a, with, with some sort of show cause rule. And what that means is you can still hire the coach, but if you hire him as, a, as an NCAA school, you bring all of his penalties and all of his baggage with him. And you have to tell the NCAA, I got it, I understand it, and I'm going to do it. And there's almost never been a coach that's gotten hired under show cause for that exact reason. And that is what the, the, the Nets were looking at, is if they hired Ime Udoka, they would bring all of the potential baggage that comes around to the situation in Boston into their house, and they had the NBA, 
wanting an explanation from them. I don't think the NBA would have stopped the hire. I want to be 100% clear about that. But the NBA absolutely wanted to query the Nets about their process and their thoughts about, about doing this at this time. The other thing that's important to point out is, from what I understand, the Celtics are still very protective of their investigation into Ime Udoka because they have gave out confidentiality and there was privilege involved. So it was not as simple as the Nets calling up and saying, okay, would you send us an email copy of your report? Um, and so there was some vetting that had to be done. And Stephen A., if they had six weeks to do this, maybe they would have. They had six days. And now I want to go over and look at what was going on on the court. Before uh, uh, Jacques Vaughn came in, the Nets, through the first eight games, were dead last in, all, in defense, number 30. They were terrible. The reason that they were being dragged down this season was because they couldn't stop anybody. In the four games since he's been the head coach, I guess it was a fifth game because the day of, yep. he's still going to go for Steve Nash. But I'm just going to look at the last four. You know where the Nets have been in those four games in the NBA? Number one in defense. Yeah. Now, look, it was a soft part of the schedule. Yes, there's it Washington. It has helped them that they're three-point shooting. It was Washington, yeah, Charlotte. I mean, sure. we got that Dallas in there, but it was Washington, Washington, Charlotte, and my damn New York Knicks. But go ahead. <laughs> You're right. And look, they hit shots last night, Stephen A. Every coach is going to look good when your players are hitting shots. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.